if you've had the chance to observe a rider in the wild, you may have noticed that A, they move very briskly, B, they usually take the corner table, and C, they're usually carrying some sort of a strange bag filled with something. Now, despite all three of these features usually being attributed to bank robbers, in fact, the most curious would perhaps be the bag. What is in this curious thing? So to illustrate some of the things that I keep in my backpack when I'm out riding, I've taken a series of photographs, the first of which is the stuff I pulled out of just the front pocket. Though it looks like a bunch of junk, each thing has a purpose. First off, plenty of pencils, all sharpened and ready for when an idea strikes, and a pencil sharpener just in case things get a little messy. Next in there is a pile of old receipts from Starbucks and cafes, the usual place to write in the middle of the day. Next to that is a tissue, already used, most likely from reading Lemony Snicket, or perhaps from reading the long list of revisions you still have to do before the end of the day. Underneath that is something that looks like a tooth, which could either be from that fellow that gave you a bad review, or perhaps it's just a broken eraser head. But you don't really need to know. Besides that is a Reese's cup, just in case. And next to that is a shiny dime. Probably all the change left for the day. Moving inside the bag, stacks and stacks of notes, scribbled out hastily and hardly with any neatness. And next to that is a stack of electronic devices like a PDA, a video camera, and a cell phone. But the most important electronic device is much bigger, and that's the laptop that holds all the writing. That's very important. <laughs> Another important device inside is an MP3 player for blocking out the crowd noise at the cafe. And more pens, a case of mints, and an idea that didn't work. Also, two writing notebooks. One's old, the other's new. Those are filled with plots and characters and random notes hardly anyone would understand. But then again, who understands writers anyway? If you want to keep following me along as I write and use most of the stuff in this bag, you can visit me online at calebnation.com.